Hey guys, it's Cord Ross and welcome to Bustin' Rainbow Six Siege. Today we are myth busting Ash and Callie's ability to bust mirror windows at range with their gadgets. So first of all, I had to re-educate myself on Ash because I haven't played her in like five years and a lot has changed over those years with her, how her gadget works and interacts with stuff. So I went back and I retested everything. So let's begin with Ash. So back in the day, electrical effects used to fry this gadget, but not anymore. And this was not something I took into consideration when I first heard about this change with early access that we got as content creators, because I was processing more about the non-cooking frag grenades and getting that video done. And I thought I'll come back to the mirror one later. And yeah, you can't even shoot ash uh, charges now, which you used to be able to as well. And you could even shoot them out of the air back in the day. So yeah, this thing's pretty tough and actually hard to counter. You need a Wamai, a Jaeger, or a Rooney's lasers, but of course Rooney's lasers could be destroyed with a drone as well. And then when it comes to Kali, she can destroy stuff on both sides of the reinforced wall with her lance. And unlike Ash, you can shoot the lance and destroy it, but only from the attacker's point of view. So of course, quite hard as a defender. And on the defender's side, you're not able to shoot it at all. So now that I've caught myself up on Ash's capabilities, we can start to break down this change with the mirror windows being cracked at range with these guys' gadgets. And I think it's pretty freaking huge. Like I thought when I actually heard this for the first time, I thought this is bigger than the cooking of nades being taken away. Because I think this is just going to kind of wipe out Mira for a while, maybe for a chunk of time. Now, of course, you can counter it, Jaegers, Wamais in the right places, you can definitely do that. But you're going to be, as a Mira main, coming up against Ash a lot. Of course, she has a pretty decent pick rate. She's in a lot of rounds. And I could definitely see Kali getting brought a little bit more as well, because this is going to be very handy. And if you have an Ash and a Kali on the enemy team, they're going to be able to get through a lot of Wamais and ADSs. And of course, all you just need is a nice twitch to go around taking out ADSs or magnets and you're pretty good. So this is a big deal, I think, for Mira. And I think I'm still comprehending the impact this is going to have. Of course, Mira has been the top on the ban list for a very long time now. And I feel like this might actually unseat her going forward into this new season. I'm also kind of surprised about the developer's choice here. So we're going to break that down as well because I think it reveals something that is coming in the future. But certainly it's confirmed you can smash mirror windows at range now with Ash and Kali if this of course makes it from the test server to the live servers. And this is something I would never have imagined when Mira was originally launched. Now what about Zero? Because of course his cameras are able to penetrate or pierce hard surfaces like reinforced walls, mirror windows, and they also look to be, I think, more significant kind of hole maker than, say, an ash charge. Ash has kind of a, a tiny point on the front, whereas these things actually would have to make a, like a hole at least an inch wide to go through. And as you can see, they have no impact on the test ever when it goes to smashing mirror windows. So I assume these are not classified as drilling projectiles like ash and Kali, and they don't have an explosive element. So I assume that's what's kind of making them different. But certainly that is busted for zero smashing mirror windows in this new update. And I guess we'll classify these as piercing gadgets and not drilling gadgets. Now let's move on to the next part of the video. And I'm going to call this, what are the devs hiding? Because something is afoot here. So to begin with, we've got the designer notes. It goes over this new category of weapon, which the developers are calling drilling projectiles. And of course, it's exactly what you'd expect it to be. These projectiles drill into the surface, they impact and apply their effect. And of course, we see that with both Ash and Kali. But then in the patch notes, they talk about Maestro. And they say drilling projectiles will shatter the bulletproof glass when exploding if they hit on the glass. So specifically the glass actual panel on a Maestro turret. Again, makes total sense. There's one problem here, which is that both Ash and Kali's charges destroy Maestro turrets. So even if you land it on the glass, you're not going to actually shatter the glass. You're just going to blow the whole goddamn thing up. So this myth that is written into the patch notes is busted. It does not exist in the game, not in the test server. It doesn't yet exist. So I assume that it will at some point in the future. And I see two ways this could go. 
So first of all, they could give Maestro another buff. He's just got an extra turret. They could give another buff where his turrets are not destroyed by explosives and instead just the glass is smashed by Kali and Ash, which would make sense and I could see that being a legit buff for him in the future. But the one I'm leaning far more towards is that we're gonna get a new operator, maybe even next season, that's gonna have a drilling projectile. However, it will not have an explosive attached to it. And this will drill into stuff and smash windows and things like that. So I'm thinking that's what we're looking at here is them preparing. They've got this new category of weapon. They're getting it kind of set up and ready. And I think in the future, it will damage, but not destroy Maestro turrets. However, it does take about nine months to make an operator. So it could be that it's three seasons into the future. But certainly I think they're preparing the groundwork for something in the future. And hey, it may just be that this was a mistake and they just wrote it in there thinking, you know, glass, bulletproof, it's going to do the same kind of thing and didn't really think it through with the patch notes. But I do think this is something. So we'll find out maybe in uh, nine months time. But anyway, guys, let me know in the comments below what you're going to be doing with this change to mirror windows. Will you take advantage of it being on attack with Ash and Cali? Or on defense as a mirror main or something like that, are you going to change strategies? Are you going to change positions? Are you going to have to lose some setups? And are you confident you can counter this new Ash and Kali ability in game? So yeah, thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you next time.